I really can't tell you how grateful I am that you could come do this, Kate. Oh, sweetheart, of course. I can't even imagine what it's like dealing with us after your mom died. Well, it's not easy. Lewis tries to understand, but he grew up in a house of boys, you know? He had all brothers and our parents' generation. You know they just didn't talk about this sort of thing. Oh, honey, I went through that with Curtis. He really seriously believed that women poop. <laughs> I can't blame men for wanting to think that. It's just the sort of thing they understand. <sighs> anyway, that's it's not important. I'll talk to Lewis about it next year. It's a really beautiful bucket you have. Oh, thank you. My mom helped me pick it out when I was a little girl. We went to the Michaels, and she said to me, Now, honey, I know up until now you've been emitting that odorless fluid from your butthole once a year, just right into the tub, but... <laughs> You're a big girl now, right? All moms are the same, I guess. <sighs> I normally do this by myself, but it's really good to have a friend here now. And, and you're my best friend, Kate. There's no one else I'd rather help hunker down over a bucket to emit an odorless fluid from her butthole once a year than you, Amanda. Do you want to dump it into the crick when I'm finished? I swear to God, you're the sister I've always wanted. Now get down on that bucket and hold my hands. <laughs> 